Is the CT the standard of care? Thousands of implants have been placed with a Panorex for years and still are. How does your treatment plan change whether you get a sinus a CT or just a Panorex? The Panorex is an initial diagnosis tool that shows whether you need a lift or not. Uh, the CT can help with guided surgery. Do you really need a CT scan for a sinus lift? What's your thoughts, Z? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, Rashad, I love, I love the questions because the questions have the answers in them. Yeah, you, you, whatever the doctor said is all correct. A Panorex is a screening tool. A 3D scan shows you the 3D anatomy. I feel that the standard of care nowadays that CT scans are prevalent. Anywhere you throw a stone, there's going to be a CT scanner. So they're available, they're affordable. You can even get them in your practice. I just got one in my practice, uh, which you know I couldn't afford years ago. I didn't even have the space for it. Now it, it, it's possible. So as the technology is available, it, be, it is the standard of care. Yes, doctor, I feel like that's important, not just for guided surgery. Even if you're not doing guided surgery, you're doing conventional guidance with just com regular surgical guides, not, not computerized or navigation, it's important to uh, do a 3D of the sinus, to find the pitfalls, know where the, the, uh, the artery is in the, in the lateral wall. It's important to see the health of the sinus. Uh, it's important to see any weird anatomy, to see the bone. Well, when I started, I didn't do a CT scan for every case because the, it, it was not even affordable to, to most patients and it was not always available. And we got by it. But now that the standard has gone up, we got to follow that. If I needed a sinus lift and I may need a sinus lift in the future, I would want my doctor to image my sinuses before they operated. Remember, the anatomy is the key behind medicine, behind good medicine and good surgery. If you don't know the anatomy, you're like lost, lost in space, pretty much. It's like, oh, it's like the black hole that many dentists think the sinus is. Let's get rid of the black hole. Let's get rid of confusion and dogma. Let's not stick to how things used to be. I can also say, hey, I placed uh, implants, uh, you know, without even a PA. Yeah, I, you could do that. You could do other things as well. But what does it mean? We want to do things the best possible way. The goal of uh, our training today of the webinar, of the surgical master teaching, the implant blueprint mentorship is to show you not mediocre. You don't want to be mediocre. You want to be top level. I, I never heard, uh, you know, somebody's goals to be to come second. We always want to be better and greater and succeed in anything that we do. In order to succeed, we have to have best practices. A CT scan is best practice. If you don't have it, you don't need it. I don't, I, up until now, for 20 years, I didn't have a CT scanner in my office. What does it mean? I use the CT scan you know, of a colleague or a radiologist, but I always got 3D, 3D uh, planning for myself. Uh, my message to you is, and I'm empowering you, uh, the fact that you're a general dentist doesn't mean that you have to do things subpar and do things like at a lower level compared to how I do it, how Asha does it here in Beverly Hills. You can do the same, but you got to follow the same standard. You got to follow the same protocols. They're not complicated. It's like following a recipe. And uh, the key here is not just to do things, but have proper mentorship, proper guidance, proper planning, and, and make sure that you do things at a high level also for your own peace of mind. If I can save one dentist a complication, one dentist uh, from a lawsuit or from a disgruntled patient that leaves the practice and gives you bad uh, Yelp reviews, I'm happy. That, that's worth the tuition for this, this training. <laughs>